Fantastic. So Gregory, you're an artist yourself. Can you describe your work? My work has really been the exploration of different strategies of empowerment um, that is available to individuals or groups around the world to affect and change their societies and countries. So, um, And I've done everything. I, I originally started with explorations of violence as a strategy and moved into information and technology then alternative systems and structures. My earlier work explored terrorism as a strategy. Um, and that is some of the work that I'm most known about. Um, but uh, now I've sort of moved into what I like to call my peace and love phase. So okay. <laughs> I'm done with violence. And what is it you express through your art? Um, I try to empower people um, uh, is, is the primary thing. So I read somewhere that you had actually predicted the Twin Towers. Is this true? Um, actually, I did predict that I thought that one day they would come down. Um, Canal Plus um, did a documentary about my work, and in that documentary, I mentioned a story about um, a pipe bomb that I'd done that was stolen from a gallery um, right before the first World Trade bombing in, I believe it was 93, I think and um, told them the story about that. And the interviewer then asked, well, um, do you think that the world trade would ever come down? And I said that it was actually, you know, symbolically a perfect target for both American political power and economic power. And that I thought that in all likelihood it, it was a very good possibility. Um, and it was a prediction that I wish that I would have never made, unfortunately. So. So it wasn't just instinct, you sort of worked it out as being something? Yeah, well, uh, you know, part of what my work is about is, is that um, the accessibility and the ease for people to utilize violence to affect change, and that if, if, uh, if the, the powerful in the world um, ignore the disenfranchised, ignore the, those without voices, um, and, do not, and, and exclude them, then violence ends up being an on, the only way that they can have a voice. And so thinking along that line, um, and the fact that it had already been bombed once, I, and well. was your art then viewed differently uh, after you were proved correct? Um, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. Um, you know, it, it, I, I'm I'm seen as being sort of prophetic about that. You know, the that my work is the the the, the bomb work I actually started in the 80s and and talking about these sort of issues, I, I started talking about it in the 80s. Um, and so, you know, in many ways, uh, many people have said, well, you were right. So, um, and unfortunately, on many levels, I was. So. Considering your work, do you ever think that your name would be flagged up at airports? Um, at m uh, numerous times, I've, I've wondered about that. And um, I've actually been interviewed by the FBI in the United States um, at uh, one airport. And after that interview, um, I was a bit worried that I would, my name would be on the no-fly list. But there's actually been no problem. Um, but I've been, I've had numerous conflicts with the authorities, um, both in the United States and Europe. And every incident, um, the authorities have either had to apologize or totally dropped everything, or in certain instances, uh, the authorities were actually reprimanded and punished um, for what they did. Um, but in the United States, the FBI has a complete uh, slide registry of all of my work, so that if they ever have an incident and, and it's actually one of my pieces, they can compare what they're looking at to the images of my work and go, oh, it's a Gregory Green, it's OK. So <laughs> Well, we're glad that it's not flagged up because you wouldn't be able to visit us here today. Yes, and I'm glad as well. So I love to travel. <laughs> now, what fascinates me is your island. Yeah. Can you tell the viewers about this? Sure. Um, Caroline, the new free state of Caroline was originally established in 1996. I began the project in 95. And uh, we claimed uh, Caroline Island in the Line Islands in the South Pacific. And that's why it's called the new free state of Caroline. And according to international law, any territory that has multiple claims on it, in other words, that it's more than one country claims it, and also there's, uh, there's no actual inhabitants, and, um, and do you thirdly... you expect people to actually live on it in the well, future? Well, it's, it's actually a requirement that you do. Right, um, but it's the, not just an artistic concept. Right, right, yeah, these are, this is just uh, international law. And the third requirement was that there was no historical, uh, historically indigenous population. And uh, Caroline Island fit that until 1999 when archaeologists found uh, evidence of Polynesian fire pits. And I lost my claim on it at that point, and it became official territory of Kiribati, which is a Polynesian nation. 
Um, but I'm now in the process of claiming two new islands that are in the Indian Ocean, but I won't say where. So. No, I, mean, I believe, Sean, you're the consulate of this new island. Yeah, uh, for Belfast. Um, oh, and okay. actually, I've been made general consulate since uh, Gregory arrived, so I've, I got promoted while I was here, which is nice. And I heard that you were actually looking for a particular Caroline from here in Northern Ireland to be your citizen, your first citizen, is that yeah, correct? Well, well, I actually have a list of, of, of about three, four hundred um, people who have applied to be citizens. And Since it's a you very, stay here or um, Throughout the, the history of the project. And it's, it's a very open project, if you ask, you are. Um, <laughs> to reinitiate the project after I found these two new islands, um, I decided that one of the things I wanted to do was find somebody named Caroline and that she would get the first official uh, New Free State of Caroline passport um, and uh, Sean asked me to do the show at the John Erickson Museum and so I decided okay well it's time to reinitiate this and so uh, Sean did a search in Belfast and uh, found a lovely young woman named Carolyn Pug that uh, is uh, going to receive the first passport. Um, Fantastic we should get her on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your plans for the island? Do you want to exhibit your art on it? No, in many ways it's a conceptual idea, but it's also a, a, a real possibility. There have been new countries created this way. Actually, the last one that was created this way is, in, is called Sealand, and it's actually rather famous. It's in the English Channel. Yes, are um, you aware of the reality TV shows like Castaway and Shipwreck? Oh, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> more of a comedy value to them, but what you're doing <laughs> is for real. It is for real, and actually um, in uh, the 90s, um, my uh, gallery dealer in New York, at one point we were preparing to actually uh, uh, working with a number of uh, architects um, to actually build buildings on Caroline. They were, they were initiate, we initiated the process of doing designs and then, then we lost it when the archaeologists found the fire pit so I sort of dropped the idea for a while. But, uh, but with discovering these two new islands and there's very, very few places in the world that, that actually fit, fits the requirements. So it took me six years or so to actually find some place. So um, now we'll see what happens.